one place to access many different models, that is GitHub models. Having their own playground to test these models, you are able to integrate that with your own application with their SDK. You can use this in code space directly without any authentication. Is this a replacement to Hugging Face? What are the models available in this? How to use these models and integrate that in your own application? And what is the pricing? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about GitHub Models, a new generation of AI engineers building on GitHub, enabling more than 100 million developers to become AI engineers and build with industry-leading AI models. You can test and compare different models in the playground. You can quickly prototype in code spaces. I'm going to take you through step-by-step step about the models playground, how you can integrate this with your own application, and also how you can use that in code space. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, we are going to see how you can use the playground. So this is how the models marketplace looks like. And you can see the different models available here. So when we see the models list, you can see you got Jamba Instruct, different Cohere models, Llama 3.1 models, Mistral models, OpenAI models, and Phi3 models. So you can use any of these models, quickly compare these models and prototype. So let me take Llama 3.1. And if I want to quickly ask a question, I can just ask a question like this, and it's going to respond accordingly. You can change the maximum number of tokens, the temperature, the top P, and other parameters here. Change this and see what works best in regards to your own use case. There's an easy option to integrate that with your own application. Just click Get Started. There you got Python implementation and it's using Azure AI Inference Python package. You can also integrate that with C Sharp, JavaScript, and REST. For C Sharp, you got the instruction here. For JavaScript, you got the instruction here. And for REST, you got the instruction here. REST is nothing but curl commands, which means you can run these commands on your terminal. So you just need to copy this. As a first step, you need to create a personal access token. So go to personal access token. There you can click generate new token and then generate new token here. Now I can set the expiry date here, how long you want to give access to this API token. Give a name to the API token, public repo, and then generate token. Now copy the token and you need to export it like this in your terminal. So coming to my terminal, export GitHub token like this and then click enter. Now to test this, you can directly use the curl command. So we copied that earlier and we can just paste it here. We can see we are using Llama 3.1 and then click enter. Now we got the answer. So the question we asked is what is the capital of France? And the capital of France is Paris, that's the response. So this is a quick way to test using curl command. Now how you can integrate this with your application. So there are different ways that you can integrate this with your own application. Just as a basic usage, you can integrate tools, that is function calling or tool call. With this, you are able to stream the response and also you are able to do multi-turn. So I'm going to take you through all of this. Let's create a file called app.py and inside the file, import OS, then from OpenAI, import OpenAI, then getting the GitHub token, that will be our API key. Next, setting the endpoint. So this endpoint is same for all the models. Next, setting the model name. Now we are using OpenAI SDK with, with the base URL and API key. Now we are using client chat completions create function to ask a question to the large language model. So the question which we are going to ask is what is the capital of France? We are providing the model name, temperature, max tokens, and top P. Now after this, we are just printing the response. That's it. So it's just the basic OpenAI SDK. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, pip install OpenAI to install the OpenAI package, then Python app.py and then click enter. Now you got the response, the capital of France is Paris based on the question which we asked here. Next, tool call or function calling. So it's same as before, but in this we are adding a parameter called tool. Generally, if you ask a large language model, what's the next flight from Seattle to Miami? It's going to say, I don't know, because it doesn't know the real time data. When we ask the same question, it's going to use function calling method or tool call and call the function, get the live information. So this function is your own tool or own software, and that is going to respond the accurate value. And then it is sent to the large language model to respond like this. In this way, you are able to make a large language model respond in real time. 
and you are able to integrate that with any of your tools or softwares. Same thing is happening here. So we are assigning the tool to the large language model so that it can use the tool and answer the question, flight from Seattle to Miami. Here we need to provide the tool definition. So you can see the tool definition here, get flight info is the function from and to, they are required and get flight info function is here. So this could be our own application or our own software, which is able to return the real time flight information. So once we call this function, it will trigger the tool call. Then we are going to parse the tool call, then run the tool, append the returned result and send it to the large language model again to get the final response. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python tools.py and then click enter. Now you can see, first it's calling the tool, that's function calling, the origin city, destination city, then the function return this response, the flight date, time, and the flight details. Then that is sent to the large language model and here is the final response. The next flight from Seattle to Miami is operated by Delta Airlines and here are more information. Next, we are going to see about streaming and multi-turn through code space. So if you come to the playground, click get started. There you got run code space, click on that. And it will bring up the code space like this. So here you can see all the code here, samples, Python code, JavaScript and curl command. So in regards to Python, I'm going to try with the Mistral AI, multi-turn. So instead of Mistral small, I'm going to change that to Mr. Large and every SDK is pre-installed in this code space and you don't need to authenticate. Everything is taken care of behind the scenes. So you can see the multi-turn, which means first we are providing an example question and example answer. Then we are asking, what about Spain? That means based on the previous context, we are going to ask the capital of Spain. Now I'm going to run this code. So in your terminal, just type Python samples, Python, Mistral AI, and then multi-turn, click enter. And here is the response. The capital of Spain is Madrid. Now let's see how you can stream the response. So it's same as before, but we are using chat stream function and we are looping through the output. So now I'm going to run this code. So this is completely running in the browser. Python samples, Python, Mistral AI, and streaming. So you can just copy the code and then test it for yourself. You can just copy the code and test it for yourself. You can see the response got generated. So we've completed basic tools, streaming and multi-turn. Next, we are going to see about the pricing. To use the playground, there's a rate limit, the number of requests per minute, number of requests per day, tokens per request and concurrent requests. But when you go to production, we need an Azure AI account and you need to get the personal token from Azure AI. The pricing is listed in Azure AI. So here you can see the pricing for Mistral Large, Cohere, that's like 0.015 per thousand tokens. Then for OpenAI, you can see the pricing here. It's listed in Azure AI portal. Next, finally, we are going to see about how this can be run using CLI. So here's the CLI command, GH models run, and then provide the model name and the question you want to ask. Probably this is in beta version, so I was not able to run that locally on my computer. Similarly, you are able to combine the GH models run with other commands. Let's say if you want to summarize the commit history, that's the last 10 commit history, you should be able to type the command like this and get a summary. This is really good. The final question is that, is this a replacement to Hugging Face? Not yet, because most of the models which we see here are closed source and we don't have any open models weights available in this yet. And it's all linking back to Azure AI. Overall, this is a simple way to use Azure AI models using GitHub personal token. Apart from that, it's similar to any other SDK or provider. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.